Hello and welcome back to FPV Reviews. For this flight, we picked a sunny day to find out if Dragon can sustain flight with just the power produced by its solar cells, and if so, to find out how much excess power it can produce for charging. This is an important test because it will determine what types of flights are possible for Solar Dragon. The problem that we had on the last flight with the aileron servo has been fixed, so we can finally test roll authority. To do this, we're performing the takeoff in manual mode so that no control augmentation is involved. Fairly soon, we determined that it was adequate and switched to fly-by-wire A to test roll in that mode too. After confirming that Dragon handles well in both modes, I decided to try return to launch mode, which would hold the plane in a circle around the home position. This is an autonomous mode, so using it frees us up to monitor the power consumption and voltage during flight. This is important because there is the potential for the battery to become overcharged in flight if the solar arrays output more power than the airplane consumes. And the only way we currently have to stop it is a switch on the RC transmitter. It became apparent that it was overcharging and we had to switch the solar charging on and off many times during the flight. The goal was to land the plane with the battery in the same state of charge as when it took off. There was a point in the flight where we forgot to shut off the arrays for a while, and the battery voltage went higher than we had planned. It was also clear that Dragon can carry substantially more weight in the form of a much larger battery pack to extend its flight time before solar morning and after solar evening. We set up screen recording of the telemetry for this test flight, so it would be easier to analyze later. Special thanks to our friend Ugo, who showed up to chase Dragon around the sky with his custom freestyle quad, recording these beautiful clips that we can enjoy. It's very impressive to see Dragon from a different perspective in the air. It turned out to be a bit of a windy day with quite a lot of turbulence. Not ideal for flying a huge lightweight solar plane like Dragon, but overall it handled it well despite being blown off course several times. We had set a fairly large return to launch diameter of 120 meters radius and 70 meters height with a clockwise circle. Power consumption was averaging under 10 amps to maintain altitude, even at the 12 meter per second airspeed target that we had set. We were pleased by what we were seeing on the Mission Planner data screen. The plane should be able to fly much slower, which would be even more efficient. But with these wind conditions and given the state of tune of the flight controller, we decided not to try to lower the target airspeed. In its current configuration, Solar Dragon consumed an average of 8.54 amps of power. At an average of 12.3 volts, that puts the watt consumption at 105. That's roughly the same power consumed by one and a half light bulbs. We believe the power consumption can be lowered substantially in several different ways. First of all, the efficiency of the airframe itself. As this is an early prototype, weight savings in the structure, as well as aerodynamic improvements, are possible. We designed a Dragon so that it can easily accommodate a two, four, or six motor configuration. And it could be adapted to a single motor configuration as well. So as a platform, it's extremely versatile. The propulsion system is borrowed from another project. We're currently seeking better options as one that is specifically suited to Dragon would be substantially more efficient. During the flight, the solar arrays were switched on for over 65% of the time and off for 35. What that means is there is over 50% more power available from the arrays than what was used during the flight. This greatly exceeded our expectations at this early stage of development. The solar cells are capable of a maximum power output of over 250 watts under ideal conditions. With the direct solar charging, it's clear that we're not even getting the most out of the solar cells, either at peak or in less than ideal conditions. Use of a good MPPT controller should improve solar production significantly. Dragon has the internal space and ability to carry a useful payload. With improvements, it has the potential to fly during the night on battery power and charge during the day. 
Variations in weather at low altitude could affect performance, but Dragon is also well suited to fly at a very high altitudes above most weather where the maximum solar efficiency is further improved. It's possible to store energy in the form of altitude as well during the day and glide for part of each night to further reduce the need for energy storage in its battery, enabling it to carry a larger payload. Whether it's used as an observation platform, to sample air quality, or as a communications relay, the potential of this type of aircraft system, which can stay airborne perpetually, is huge. We'll explore some of the improvements to Solar Dragon, which would make this possible in a future video. If you want to help, even in a small way, to support this project, there's a link to our PayPal below. If you have suggestions on how to improve the project further, we welcome your input in the comments section. Make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the latest videos of Solar Dragon and other projects such as the Maxwell S2 Mini UAV. Also check out the links in the description below to our website. Follow us on Twitter for everyday updates. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day.